Hello dear ones, it's Alice. I am of the stars. And I had a few thoughts on the days of yore as compared to current times that I thought I'd share with you. It has to do with ways to to soothe social unrest and uh, ways to solve problems of distribution of wealth, very practical notions. Mm. Long, long time ago, soon after Columbus discovered America, the royalty of England found a use for that continent. It didn't have to do with, the, with finding gold. Uh, in those days, there were nobility in England that uh, it had many children and uh, some of those children uh, had lands and means and the youngest sons typically had none. So there was a problem there with regard to the youngest sons of nobility um, because they were restless and they wanted abundance, they wanted means and they didn't have them and they posed a potential threat to the rule, ruling powers of England. So the notion that was ingeniously concocted um, by the ruling powers was to send the youngest sons of the nobility with a land uh, grant to the east coast of America. And so they would then become landed gentry and uh, they would establish plantations and, um, and create their own wealth for themselves. Furthermore, they would be very far from the ruling powers of England, so unable to cause trouble, you know. So this was a manner of, of distribution of wealth and a way of creating new wealth for those who had none in England. And, and this applies today. There's, there's, um, there's a different format, but there's the same difficulty today in what is now the United States. Um, in the cities, in the large cities, there are numbers and numbers of restless people who have nothing, okay, for whatever reason. I would not blame it on the problem that's termed the immigrant problem, which is part of a... Um, the worldwide wealth and abundance creation um, problem that remains to be solved on New Earth. Okay, I would not term it that. I would uh, because there are many people in the large cities uh, of America today who are not immigrants. Uh, many also who are immigrants who have nothing. In other words, there's a very large class of people who are very, very poor. Uh, so, these people pose a problem to the ruling elite of America. And, and here in America, it's not kings and queens, and it's not the U.S. government. What it is, is the wealthy, the very wealthy, and the heads of corporations and that sort. You know, people who have most of the wealth. Uh, the entertainment industry, for instance, has some very wealthy people, and uh, there's old wealth here too, I think. Uh, so, so there are a few people that have a lot of money and who are threatened by the by the people in the cities who have nothing at all. Okay, so I'm proposing just take a look at this notion. We have in the United States a huge amount of land that's held by the Bureau of Land Management as a result of the, an old um, deal that took place between the railroad companies and uh, the government for the development of railroads across the United States to connect the East Coast with the West Coast. <clears throat> uh, technically, this land belongs to the Bureau of Land Management, but today I would propose that some compensation might be made to them for this land and that an offering might be made of free or inexpensive land to, to these people who are in the large cities and might relocate to an, uh, an environment of sustainable living in the BLM lands. 
So what would happen then is that those that have great wealth in the cities and that would, would uh, gain some measure of security against social unrest, and, and it would be a double win because those who have nothing would then have something. In a manner of speaking, it's a, a conceivable method of redistributing wealth. So something to look at. I'm sure there are other solutions too. This is an interesting, very intriguing notion, I feel.